What's up everybody? This is Alan Bradley here from 43 Audio and today I'm going to show you how I got my Behringer X-Touch to properly work uh, Pro Tools and this has a lot of problems and the way that they show you how to do it is incorrect. It just It's just wrong so let's jump right into this. Make sure your X-Touch is plugged in, powered on and that you have it set to Huey Pro Tools. You do that by holding the stop button and then pressing down on the volume knob and selecting which one. After you do that, we're going to come over here to setup and we're not going to go where we normally would go to peripherals, right? We're going to go down here to MIDI Studio first. MIDI Studio Setup. Alright, create a new one. Name it whatever you like. Next touch. Oops. Alright, manufacturer and model. This doesn't really matter. You can put it to whatever you want. Put my the book of the lightning, why not? An input port and output port, you want to select your X touch. Alright. Let it catch up. I don't know if this affects anything. I switch this down to eight channels though, just because your controller's not using all sixteen. I have other controllers too I like to plug in with this, so all right, after that's all good, you don't have to click save or nothing like that. Just go ahead and X out of it. Now we're going to go ahead and go like we would the normal route. We're going to go to Setup, Peripherals, MIDI Controller. Looks like I already had mine set up. So we come over here, make sure it's in Huey. Receive from, it's going to have your new instrument. So you want to click on the Bukala Lightning. Bukala Lightning. All right, eight channels. This is going to allow you now where everything should work. A okay, transport. Uh, what else we got here? Switching your windows. All of it. Click solo. Good to go.